welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. Trips to the Thrift Thursday morning. We are back for yet another episode. It's going to be a fun one today. A lot of op shops to get into. A lot of items to find to hopefully go on to sell for a big, big profit on eBay. Uh, we're going to do the Copper Drop segment as well for another week. Should be a fun episode. Let's dive into the Thrift and we'll see what we can find. And just like that, guys, we are underway with arguably the worst find of the day, the Ben Simmons Philadelphia tee. Ben Simmons. Shooting the jump shot now with some regularity. There it is right there. Unfortunately, he missed it badly. Boy, oh boy, hasn't that man's reputation gone downhill fast. I'll quickly put that one back onto the shelf, guys. But I did pick these up. We've got the 504 Levi Strauss, a 36 waist. I'll always pick these ones up. $59.99 is the price point I'll be shooting for. I did have to pay the $15 for them, though. Uh, we've got the Nike tracksuit pants here as well. Size small. We've got an $8 price point on these. I'll be shooting for about $30 free postage. And I usually get it in a pretty quick space of time as well. So that one was a good little find. And then we've also got the slingers here, the Wrangler slingers for five bucks. Not too bad there either. This was a really big win though. Have a look at all of this denim day. We've had a big denim day win here on the jeans. Uh, we've got True Religion. We've got RM Williams. We've got Ralph Lauren. Um, so many great brands here. And um, I've paid $8 a piece. We got eight in the end. So 65 bucks basically for all of that. Not too bad at all. And then I've got some uh, LA Lakers zip up jumper here. Well, that's 25 bucks. So I've had to say no, but here's an Instagram viewer poll question for you guys to deliberate on. We've got the Justin Bieber Stadium Tour 2017 hoodie here. Not too bad of a find. It had a $15 price point on it though, and that was my deliberation. Would you guys pay $15 bucks for this hoodie? Let me know. Really a good start today, guys. A number of really good items secured that I think we'll all go on to sell in a pretty quick space of time on eBay, which is always what you want. Now, uh, there was an Instagram viewer poll question with the Bieber sweater. Now, I've ended up grabbing this. Um, the, uh, the votes are actually a lot closer than I thought. It was 55 45. Um, but I ended up going with the majority and um, I've picked this guy up for 15 bucks. So look, it's one of those ones where I reckon I might be able to sell it for about 40 free postage. So we're not talking a lot of profit. I just think the sell through rate, it should sell in a pretty quick space of time. So that's my reasoning for picking that one up for 15. You would normally like to find that for around five to 10, but um, let's keep moving. Op shop run number two coming up. Now I have stopped buying these in the thrift, but for $5, the Blake Ralph Lauren size large button up shirt. I couldn't say no to this. I should be able to get myself a really decent $30. $5 price point. So really happy to get the turnaround there off what was just a $5 purchase. Every now and again, I will go ahead and purchase those. Uh, we've jumped into the DVD and the video game section. And what do we have here? Is that Ben Simmons once again? We can't seem to get rid of this guy today. Ben Simmons shooting the jump shot now with some regularity. There it is right there. Unfortunately, he missed it badly. Let's dive into the shoe section now, guys, for a bit of a look. And we've been able to find, well, hold on a minute. Here we go. The Adidas Ultra Boost 20s. These are a fantastic pair of shoes in almost like new condition. Hardly been worn, these things. And I've been able to pick them up for just a $15 price point. So guys, when you find these sort of shoes, the Adidas Ultra Boots, you could be talking anywhere between $80 to $100. So that is just a fantastic find. I've also been able to find these as well. Again, another pair of women's running shoes, the Gel DS Trainer 20s. These are a 20th edition pair, $15 price point as well. Not too bad. Happy to go ahead with the purchase. Even though there was a little bit of wear on the sole, no inner sole, and there was some tear in the inner fabric. But as long as you communicate it, you'll generally be okay. So I was happy to pick that one up. I've got the New Balance here as well. These are the Fuel Core uh, Coast running shoes. Just an $8 price point. It's an entry-level shoe, guys. So I'm not expecting too much here. I'm probably going to go 40 bucks free postage on that one. Um, these as well, they're in actually good condition. If I give them a bit of a scrub up, they'll be okay. We've got the Gel Oberon 8s and uh, a $13 price point on those. My biggest consideration is always the soles and they were in excellent condition. DVDs, let's have a look at some of them in the cabinet. Always a great place to look when you're in the thrift, the, the cabinet behind the counter. Uh, we've got a $30 Lost in Space full collection set, and we've also got Ghost Whisperer as well in a DVD bundle. So both of those were $30 a piece, and then I also found above that, we've got Smallville as well for $30. So $90 for three sets. I thought I might need to ask for a bit of a discount. This, uh, the... They only went in yesterday, so the answer would be no. Oh, okay. I, know, I know they literally only went in yesterday. Oh, I was just thinking I was going to buy all three. I was just looking if there was a price for them at all. Um, yeah, I bought them all. I'd say no. no. Okay. Yeah, all right. so all good. If it was something that I knew had been sitting there a little while, then yeah, it could sure. be a bit more negotiable. That's fine. Yeah. All good. No okay. dramas. Thanks very much. No problem. 
Well, sometimes you've got to ask the question, right? It was $90 for three of those box sets, and uh, that was only going to return about a $210 uh, sale price on eBay. So we're talking about $45 worth of profit at that purchase price. So I asked the question, and as you would have seen, she did say no. Um, so I'm pretty happy to have left that behind, unfortunately, though, because I think all three of them would have definitely got on to sell. Um, but it was only for a 45 return. So uh, left that one behind, but let's keep punching. Op shop run number three is coming up. Well, I'm always pretty optimistic about video games in the thrift until I go ahead and do my comp research and I'm always generally let down. This was certainly the case here. We've got Harry Potter, we've got The Walking Dead. I even thought this Final Fantasy might have comped up to be worth a few, but unfortunately, none of these games were worth any more than $15. So... They went back onto the shelf. Speaking of going back onto the shelf, this Katmandu sweater, a $42 price point. Are you kidding me? That one won't be coming home with me at all. I've also found these, which I thought was a great find. And we've got, well, a $60 price point on a pair of Nike Air Maxes. So I've had to put them back on the shelf. This is turning into a really tough round, guys. Flight of the Concords, the DVD. We've got four discs here, $4 purchase price. But unfortunately, the discs were scratched. And then we've also got half price on the plushies. If you're ever going to have a problem with the plush, it's going to be on half price day. I've been able to find myself here. We've got um, one of the Seven Dwarfs. He was a Tokyo Disneyland special with a $3 price tag on it. Adventure Time comps up for about 25 bucks with a Cartoon Network tag. Not too bad at all for another $3. And then we've got the Ice Age character as well. Don't know his name. Let me know in the comments below. $4 price point. But guess what? I ended up passing on the plush. I might be curing the addiction, guys. Spent a bit of time in the arcade section as well because this was a horrendous op shop run number three. Well, guys, it doesn't happen all too often on this channel, but I'm having to call the third run of the day a donut run. I was just simply not able to find a thing. And that sometimes happens when you're in the thrift. You don't always find great Hail Mary type items in every store you go into. So we're gonna call it quits on the third and jump into the fourth and hopefully we can turn things around. I think this is a sign. It's a sign that it's just not my day. Time for another Instagram view poll question. I was really unsure about this one, guys. We've got an Xbox 360 console, one controller, all the cables, and I've got a one-week warranty as well. What would you do for 40 bucks on that one? I was really, really undecided. Um, also dove into the DVDs and the video games, and have a look at this. I've never seen this many video games in one op shop before. This was just incredible. Nintendo DS, PlayStation 3, Xbox. We had a bit to pick through here, guys. So. I started with the DS games, and the first one I was able to find here worth any real value was Style Boutique. Now, I wouldn't have thought this would have been worth much, but there are some comps in the $20 price point. So for $5, I thought that was definitely worthwhile. And then the other one as well, Pandora's Box. That one was going for about 20 to 25 as well. So two little quick winners there, but this one was even better. This was the limited collector's edition of Halo 2 on the Xbox original. You always want to be finding Xbox original games. They do go for quite a few more. How about this one? The Michael Jordan jersey for $6. It's a very, very small kid size. Uh, I thought that was worth the purchase. We've got the Manchester United Umbro vintage Manchester United jersey here for $5. I thought this was actually a really sweet find. We've really picked things up here in op shop run number four. That should turn into about $30, maybe even $40 on eBay. Hey, I've sold this one a number of times before. We've got the Merrill Wild Dubs. And if you have a look at the comps here, we're talking about $60. And you wouldn't believe it. I've paid just the $4 here in the thrift. We've got the Oakland Raiders as well for $4 on a Majestic uh, print. And then I've also got the Chicago Bulls with a Mitchell and Ness. A Mitchell and Ness tagged Chicago Bulls signet. This was a size medium. It's got the 1998 uh, championship down the bottom there. So this was a really sweet find for $5. Should turn into about 30 bucks. And then the Gold Coast Suns. We've got a windbreaker jacket here. I've only paid $5 in the end for that one. Um, so not too bad of a finish. Well, there you go, guys. Instagram viewer poll question. The Xbox 360. You guys have unanimously said to go ahead and cop this for 40 bucks. 72% of you saying to take it. And really, I actually bought it in the end based on that vote. I wasn't going to buy it. And then I saw the votes and I ended up going ahead. So... Thank you very much for your opinion on that one. Um, some good games in there as well. Good 60 bucks worth of games, paid the $15. So that's a good turnaround. That Halo limited edition, that was probably the best of the bunch. Um, but geez, what an absolute tough day. The rain hasn't helped things. I've gone into more op shops on this trip to the thrift than I have in any other video. And I've come away with the most few amount of items as well. So it's just been a really, really difficult day. And sometimes you have those where you sit through these op shops and you don't really find too much. but. The trick is to just keep persisting and keep getting out there each and every day because there are always great items to be found eventually. So 
Appreciate you tuning into this one, guys. We'll catch you in the next. Thanks for being here. We'll see you soon.